Hello, uh, today I'd like to make a fairly quick video uh, on Parlay. And uh, firstly, I want to show you this uh, page here. This is the task page. You can find it at www.parl.ai slash docs slash tasks.html. And uh, so there is a list. This is a list of tasks. There are question and answer task, uh, closed task, goal task, chit chat task, negotiation task, visual tasks, and the DECA NLP tasks. I'm not sure what that is. So if you want to do question and answer, there's the Amazon QA. Uh, there's Aqua. This is an interesting data set because this does algebraic word problems. Uh, so let's take a look at that. Uh, go over here to the terminal. And we want to be in the Parlay directory as usual because we're going to be running the Parlay command. And we want to display the data for Aqua. Uh, what do I do? AQ, AQUA. Uh, dash dash task. Aqua. There we go. So you'll see that these are word problems like the kind you had in them uh, in school. And it gives the answer. You know, Tell me the speed, eight sec or how much time it will take, eight seconds. Can you provide a rationale? The speed of the boat downstream is 25 plus 11 equals 35 kilometers per hour. 36 times 5 divided by 18 equals 10 milliseconds. Hence, the time it takes to cover eight, 80 meters is eight seconds. All right. So, uh, Let's take a look at some of these others here. Conversational question and answer. <clears throat> now, look at this. I, I didn't have this one done before, so it's going to actually go out and grab uh, the training data going to download it, it's going to uncompress it, and then it's going to show it to me. So these are very uh, clear, simple examples of how you can make your own training data. If you make a file in this format, you'll be able to train on it. Hot pot Q and A, multi hop question answering. So you're given context, a few paragraphs, or the entire web, a question. QA system answers the question by extracting a span of text from the context. Interesting. So let's take a look at the kinds of things that can be answered from this. And this is uh, half a gig. So this will really fill up your disk very quickly if you're not careful. Extractor, the wiki full, uh, 47 meg, it's not very large. It's building the training set, the validation set. I'm not sure what the distractor is, but anyway, here's the kind of stuff that can be answered. Lick 2014 Liqui Molly Bath 
first 12 hour, the 24th of the front of October was an endurance race for a variety of GT and touring car classes. So I guess all of this here I'm not sure how much of this is is the all right so from where it says new episode this is all the text from which the answer will be derived so all this was put in and then this was the question what is the length of the track and the answer is 6.213 kilometers long and uh, of course, this is the correct answer because it's the label that's used for training. And so I don't know how many there are of these. Uh, I imagine that there are quite a few. And this will work with a particular uh, model architecture. So at some point, we're going to figure out, we're going to have to figure out how to use this exactly. And it may be that this paper will tell us, right? So each one of these has an associated paper, which you can read. Uh, take a look at the PDF for this. I'm just seeing if the let's see if the model is named in here. No, I don't see it offhand. It may very well be, but uh, this is not the format uh, to actually read this out loud. Uh, in any case, let's just jump back here to our tasks. And narrative Q and A, and natural questions. So I think we have a feel for, at least I have a feel for question answering data and how what that looks like. So here's a closed test. It's the children's book test. Let's take a look at this. Let's see what this is. And of course it has to download it. I think this one is small. I'm hoping this is a smaller data set. And comes tarred and uh, G zipped. Here's the training text. So I guess all these files here the training text. Uh, suppose, I suppose V stands for validation there. I'm not sure. I would imagine that you know it's broken up into training, validation, and testing. Well, here's what it looks like. So fill in the blank in the last sentence. That's where the X, 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 X is. And the answer is ants. So once again, this is a training set. So this is necessarily the correct answer. It's the label, the ground truth. So we know that's what and the model is going to be trained until it starts spitting this out. 
for this uh, this closure. And let's see. So there are a bunch of these closed tasks, uh, Daily Mail. These are goal tasks. Let's take a look at this one. So at least by looking through these, uh, we get a feel for the kinds of different things that can be done. So this looks like it may actually be a problem with the code. Let's just move on to the next one here. This is double babby. See, this one goes all right. So there's there's got to be some uh, error in the file for this CCPE. All right, so here's what that looks like. Uh, yeah, I don't really see how this is different from the other Babby task that we looked at. Well, this has a no that's wrong here. Sorry, wrong. All right, so let's see what this says about that. The aim is to find learning models that use the comments to improve. All right, interesting. I would think that it would be better if this said, sorry, wrong, Sandra is in the bathroom. But maybe it can get that right here from the context. Interesting. So all of these uh, dialogues will have some response in there after the answer. So there, see, there are two agents. With all of these, there are two agents. Hmm. This is interesting because this is doing zero shot generalization. Let's take a look at this one. And of course, that's what we want. If we can get uh, our models to do zero shot uh, generalization, we're in great shape. Walk opposite left thrice after walk twice. Uh, okay. This is rather fascinating. Now, I remember uh, last year or the year before when GPT-2 came out, uh, there was some discussion of how it was making up its own language and looked something like this. And so uh, I wonder if this is the kind of task uh, that gave rise to that. 
So the N in scan must stand for navigation. I wonder if anything like this is used in uh, self-driving cars. Anyway, uh, I'm going to stop this video now because I think it's getting kind of long. But uh, as you can see here, it's very easy to look at these data sets. And uh, you can look at the archive uh, paper that goes along with the data set to try to get a feel for what it does. These archive papers are difficult to read. However, uh, you still might get enough information so that uh, you can learn why you would want to use one of these data sets. And then eventually we're going to learn how to train uh, a model using a data set. And uh, so it will start and start to come together. We've already seen how to use them uh, when we've run our interactive sessions. And then finally, once we get a handle on a good handle on, on uh, using the Parlay uh, pipeline, we can go back and uh, start to look at some Python code so that uh, we can uh, use these uh, programs in our own code. Anyway, I thank you for joining me and uh, I hope to see you, uh, I hope you watch some more of my videos soon. Uh, by the way, if you could comment, I would appreciate it. Uh, it often feels as though I'm just uh, talking to empty space. So just make a little comment. Just say hello. That would be very nice. Uh, thank you very much.